So I haven't just gone and every single time I've recorded this video so far, which would be four times in total, and instead of finishing recording it, I just started playing Shipment 1944. That has not happened a single time, obviously. I just made some mistakes with the recording. That's why I had to restart this recording so many times. But anyways, all besides, you know, the jokes, which are clearly jokes. I didn't actually do that. But regardless, this update for this game is just the best. This is honestly the coolest thing I've seen for a Call of Duty game in a really long time. And you guys are also probably wondering why you guys are looking at the main menu screen for World War II right now. Mainly because I'm in game right now. I want to show you some things that I'm really liking about this update. But on top of that, look at it. It's in color now. And I know this shouldn't be the thing that impresses me most out of the entire update. And it maybe it isn't, or maybe it is. Not really going to state it, but I like it 10 times more in color. But what we're going to do now, we're just going to go around. We're going to look at the zombie stuff, and I'll talk about it briefly. But this is mainly going to be talking about multiplayer. And... I just want to really talk about what's going on in multiplayer, but like I said, we'll just talk about the few changes that happened in zombies because this is really a multiplayer focused event. But one quick thing before we continue any further, and I hope you guys watch all the video all the way through or at least skip to the end or somewhere near the end right now because there's a thing I want to be doing with my subscribers and the best way to find out, and if you guys don't want to watch the video all the way through, you guys probably will be able to find out by going to the link in my description to my Discord. And this is a channel Discord. It's open to anybody who's willing or wants to go to there. Preferably, they'd be subscribers, at least. You better be subscribed. Like, it doesn't make that much sense why you'd want to join my Discord if you're not a subscriber. But regardless, go join that, and I'll get into this in more detail in a little bit. But in the meantime, we're going to be coming back to this and talking about the changes that happened here. So these seasonal events, this is the second one we had. The I know there was the resistance event, but that wasn't really a seasonal event. And I didn't like that one that much. And uh, this one is just so much better for so many different reasons. Because unlike the resistance event or the other seasonal event, the winter siege event, it actually had some things for zombies. Look, this one's also in color. I didn't ju just got to point that out. It's in color now. I like that 10 billion times better than this the stupid black and white it looks so ugly but regardless even though it didn't affect zombies that much i still like the small changes that we had here and i just think it's so cool that they did this because just look even though it's the smallest things it's just cool seeing the irish flags in the background and you know the uh, cans of gold or whatever you want to call them of gold see the four leaf clovers and actually look who's standing there drostin <laughs> that's actually perfect but regardless it's really cool that they're actually changing that and there were some other updates that I don't really want to get into because I don't want to do a normal update video. Just tell you everything. You you can find those. You probably already watched 10 billion of them already, or can at least find 10 billion of them. And I just want to talk about like what I'm thinking about this update, and I'm really liking it because there's actually things changing zombies, and even Easter eggs in zombies. And I'll actually talk about that while we're jumping over the multiplayer because this will kind of relate. And as you guys know, there was probably an Easter egg that I don't have gameplay of, and I don't really want to get gameplay of right now because I'm a little too busy playing shipment 1944 but look this one's also in color just you know just gotta point that out but regardless it, it's just so cool that we can also see that they can change easter eggs in their games they can do that they can add effects to them and why I think this is so cool because not only can they do you know just some visual effects which I which I want the only thing to do that really happen but maybe you could add some other things but you know it's just some little cheesy visual effects which are cool and all and I would like to see some changes to the maps you know how they do over here on headquarters which will also be loading up now but it's I like to see that I'd like to see some visual changes but what I would like to see visual changes to more than anything is to the bosses in this game because just imagine the what's it called Panzer Mordor is that what the boss is for the darkest excuse me the final Reich I don't know I can't remember but if imagine if during maybe the winter siege event he was just a giant evil looking snowman like he'd still have the normal mechanics and he wouldn't actually be the snowman he'd still have his arms and legs but you would be placed over him and he, I don't really care if it looked that cheap because it'd just be so cool just seeing just finding a giant snowman instead of that guy just for the you know for a little bit and imagine during this uh, this event right here whatever it's called the uh, what is it called actually I actually don't know but what 
what's he called? It, imagine you're fighting him with wearing, like a big old guy wearing leprechaun clothes. It'd be so cool. And now that we're actually in headquarters, imagine zo the zombies map is actually changed up to look like this. It'd be so cool. Well, not like this, but you know, have the of like little, you know, it would have the suggestions of it. And I don't think it's going to be that difficult. And they don't have to do it to every single zombies map. And I don't really want them to. Just one of them, just for the current event. And it's like the one that will fit it the most. And it'd be so cool if they did that just to add these little effects here. And I know for a fact I'd be playing the maps a lot more, if, especially if the boss fight was like a giant uh, snowman, evil looking snowman. I would be playing it all the time. And I just would love some changes like this to happen in zombies. But regardless, I love that they did for this, uh, whatever it's called. What are we talking about? Multiplayer. And now, enough about multi zombies and how I wish they would do things for zombies, which I still do very much because zombies is slightly I like it slightly more than multiplayer but regardless I like them a lot both of them but now let's actually talk about what happened here because I've been having way too much fun playing this new this new match over here shipment 1944 and I'm not going to start a match of it but what I'll do I'll actually put some gameplay that I actually recorded during one of my other recording sessions well I was trying to record this because I ended up just playing the map over and over and then just couldn't use those recordings anymore and what I want to talk about is just how cool it is. And th after playing this map a couple times, I had finally realized something. I don't like, well, I never disliked this game or World War II's multiplayer. I never disliked it at all. But there was always something that I just, just didn't, you know, there was something that always held me back from saying I actually liked it. And when I heard people complain about it, I never really felt like defending it. And I finally realized why that is the case. It's because of the maps. The maps in this game really hold this game back. It's not because of the game mechanics. It's not because of the guns are trash. And whichever dumb excuse everyone gives to every single Call of Duty. And I'm sure everyone's already said this already. but And I've realized this for a long time. But this has finally confirmed it for me. That it's the maps that hold this map, this game back. And I know they can't really fix that too much. Even if they do add new maps through the DLC that are great maps. This is They're going to run into the same problem that Ghost did. Because Call of Duty Ghost, their DLC maps were way better better than the maps that came on disc but everybody remembered it as a bad game because the maps on disc were just the ones everyone experienced and they couldn't experience or much less people experienced the ones in the DLC and I know it's probably going to fall into that same trap but I finally saw that that's the reason why I haven't enjoyed this game that much that one and score streaks but that's an entire different thing that I don't really want to talk about here but Oh my gosh, I've just been having so much fun lately in this game, and I just I just like it so much. I like this update, I like all the visual changes, I like the new guns, and I like, you know, I actually don't, I haven't used any of the new guns, you know, but they're probably good, they're, they're probably good, I don't even know how you get them yet, probably still need to look that up, but regardless, that's about it for the main focus of this video. I just really want to tell you how much I like this event, and how much I just think it's how good it is, and I, I just want more of it, and I know this is actually something you normally normally see in some I guess phone apps you would say like I think you know just all the bigger phone apps that you would see that they have seasonal events and you know they get people to come to the games and I know I fell for that multiple times in the trip past and it's probably still due for the mobile games and I like it inside this game because it's not exactly like the mobile ones it's a, it's a bit different I like it a lot more I know like most of it's good everyone got a free map everybody got shipment 1944 for, for, for oh my gosh can I speak for free but, you know, they also added in some stuff to the loot box system that, of course, they're going to want people to buy. But most people aren't going to buy it, but I know there are whales and that's where they get their money from. But regardless, I just think this is really cool for Call of Duty. I hope they continue doing this. And if they do it, like, like right now they did, how many have they done? They did Winter Siege, The Resistance, and now this one, all within... Oh, are we getting one a month? Oh, is that really one a month? Shoot. <laughs> That's great, dude, like, any of an event once a month? Whoa, we may be getting spoiled, holy crap, oh, I don't even know, but regardless, that's going to be it for this update, just talking about, it. again, this update video wasn't to talk about what the update actually did, that's not the point of it, you can find those videos all over the place, I just want to talk about how I, what I think about the map and all the, all the, the update, excuse me, but... Anyways, last thing I want to talk about here at the end is what I teased at the start of this and what I plan to do and we'll actually jump over back to the, the gameplay I'm recording right now and you guys probably have done this before but there is something I've always wanted to do and this is the reason why I told you guys to go to my discord because 
in my Discord, I could talk to you guys through there and we could get into games and things like that. And normally I've been using this to get into zombie matches with a couple of my subscribers. But recently, I've been wanting to do something more with it. And this is an idea I've had for a while. And now I just finally decided, hey, I'll just bring it up in a video and see if enough people want to jump on this thing and do it with me. And I just want to get to, into custom matches just with other people. Because I know this is really, I imagine this is a, especially something a lot of people did back Back in when it was it, you know, Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare time, that's when people really did this. I kind of want to do that again, except with my subscribers. And I would think it'd be an absolute great idea to do that and even upload those as videos. And you guys could just be featured in videos. It'd be a really cool thing that I think a lot of people would be interested in. And if you guys are, or even if you aren't, still the Discord is a great place to go. And I plan to do that very soon, as if you know, maybe even to the today, actually, today of recording this video, or maybe tomorrow. I am not exactly sure when. I'll exactly start doing this but I think it'd be a great thing to do and if you guys are interested go ahead again I can't recommend my discord enough because it's a great place it's mainly dead during you know when there's nothing happening in Call of Duty but you know sometimes it's alive and if we get some multiplayer people in there then it'd be even better because it'd probably be alive more often than it is with zombies but regardless that's all I wanted to say with this video but this video has been going for too long and I just want to be quiet already and what I'll do I'll just go ahead and end this video and if you guys did enjoy the video go ahead do all the normal YouTube stuff do the like subscribe bell especially bell because my videos do not pop up in anywhere lately the only way people see my videos is through notifications and i know you've probably heard that from all the other youtubers and i just also heard it from all the other youtubers and never really experienced this problem myself but lately i've been experiencing it and it's annoyed me very much i can't even watch my own videos after i upload them not that i really do but i actually do all the time but regardless anyways i'm getting off track anyways later guys i'm going to end the video right now